Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today I have a little bit of a public service announcement. I may have seen in my previous video I was measuring the distance between the micro adjust holes here with, on the Tudor Black Bay 58. Um, I was comparing the Uncle Seiko half link here to the full link and then also measuring the micro adjust. Uh, if I remember correctly it's 2.5 millimeter between the micro adjust uh, Uncle Seiko screw to screw is six and I think the full link is about 10 millimeter but anyway that's not the purpose of this video purpose of this video is to uh, warn you and this is something I had no idea would happen uh, using plastic calipers uh, you would think it wouldn't scratch the watch it, it didn't scratch this watch but it did put some scuff marks on the bracelet clasp I have another watch off to the side here. I'm going to try and demonstrate it on camera here. Uh, maybe it's just the steel that the, um, the, they use on the Tudor Black Bay, but uh, it's you know 316L stainless steel. Uh, I have noticed this watch does scuff very easily. I believe we can get it in the light here and get my fingerprints back off again. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, right there you can see got some scuffs on there maybe even a scratch no idea how that happens i'm usually very careful with my watches yeah a little bit of a scratch on there and fingerprints on that side but anyway let me show you the clasp see if i have the right side fingerprints again i have to start wearing gloves for these videos and how you guys feel about folks wearing gloves so you can see uh, the scratches right there or the scuffs on that bracelet clasp right around the micro adjust I think I'm looking at the right side yeah this one here looks pretty clean so I've tried polishing it not really polishing it I've tried rubbing it out with the micro uh, cloth here and uh, it's not doing anything so those scuffs right there are from the calipers so let me try and do it on camera here. If I can't do it on this watch here, then I'll hit up the other side of that tutor. This is just, uh, I've had this watch for, I don't know, years, probably 10 years. It's a sterile Submariner clone, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I don't know. Let's let's just try it here. The size already kind of scuffed up. Maybe I'll go in this direction. See if that did it. Yeah, actually, I am seeing some scuffs on there right there. So those did stay on there. So it's not just uh, the tutor. Now there I actually did, you know, press down a little bit and, and rub it to intentionally put a mark on it. But the uh, Tudor, I was just merely had the calipers placed on the clasp like this. And I was trying to get in between the holes and measure it. And I got scuffs on the clasp. And anyway, since I have this and I'm wearing the other one, I'll show you this real quick. But just a quick video to warn you guys about using these plastic calipers. Maybe I'll we'll have to put some tape on them. Some uh, shipping tape or something. But anyway, this is based on the previous Submariner. Like I said, I had this for 10 years. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Mess around with it one of these days, take parts off and stuff. Anyway, a uh, quick look at the Rolex versus this guy here. And again, uh, be careful when checking out dimensions on watches with plastic calipers. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.